In today's video, we are going to be breaking down Shopify and of course, is it a good investment into the future? Of course, this was a great COVID stock, but is it really actually good in the future? Let's get down, let's check this out. So in Canada, Shopify is currently trading at $1,334 per share at the time of making this video. As we can see, the volume is not bad. We're looking at 200 plus thousand shares traded per day so it's easy to get in and out of from there we want to look at the pe ratio and that's price to earnings and in my opinion right now their price to earnings is pretty high especially for the canadian market we look at bank things like banks and things like that and their pe ratios are in the 13 14 15 range and then there's some more higher growth stocks in canada that do trade around 50 to 80 PE ratios per share and of course it does seem to be a bit high at 515. So do I think that there may be a little bit of a pullback? Potentially. However, let's look at the chart and of course we, we can see all the way back to 2016 and we can see that it was still trading at a inflated rate if you actually go back and look at the PE ratio back then. We did have some pretty nice growth up until 2019, that's three years, and we've seen that it was being traded under $100 and now at this point in 2019 being traded at $200. Wow, isn't that amazing though, isn't it, right? So when we look at that from 2019 to 2020, we seen that it went from about 200-ish to $250 all the way up to $500 per share. They were doing extremely well. A lot of companies are using Shopify as their backend for their websites. And if you actually go check out Shopify's website, Website, you can see that they have so many different options to give to their clients that it will actually blow your mind. Starting off in 2020, we seen the same amount of growth until the coronavirus pandemic. The coronavirus pandemic hit and it had a double bottom. A double bottom is a basically something that everyone looks for. We can also see that it only dropped from $700 down to $500 per share, which is a massive drop, but when you're looking at other companies, other stocks, the other ETFs, that's not that massive of a drop. Some of these stocks on the Canadian market dropped as much as 50 to 80%, which is massive, and they were steals at that price. And some of them have not recovered yet. However, as we can see here, it only took a couple of months for Shopify to recover. And that's when everyone started saying, oh, well, all these companies need to go online. And then it basically blew up. It went from 740 ish dollars a share all the way up past 12, 13, and even $1,400 per share. Then it started to plateau. It started training within a range. And what that tells you is that now it's consolidating. This was such a massive gap up that it needs to consolidate. If it doesn't consolidate, it's going to come back down. But we've seen a consolidation. At the end of this consolidation, it made a slight triangle, very slight. Some people may not even call it a triangle. I personally am. That's when we seen the next jump up. We also seen that it bounced off of that new low, that new level of resistance. If it dropped below that point, it was not going to do that well and it could drop back down to here. But we did not see that. We seen another jump up. Do I think it's going to re-approach those lows or those that, that level? Potentially. But we can never tell the future in stocks. And that's the thing when we look at the stock market. We can never tell the future. We can only take our best guess when we look at the history of what has happened with the stock as well as what the potential outlook it is on the stock as well. Now, when we look at Shopify, it is the future of stores. It is literally the future of what's going to happen. There are going to be less brick and mortar stores. There will always be those specialty stores. There is always going to be Walmarts. There will always be Targets. The reason for that is because now Best Buys and Walmarts are now not just using their stores as a storefront, but also as warehouses for their online shipping. I used to work at Best Buy, and when I worked at Best Buy, if you were to order something, let's say here in Hamilton, and the Hamilton store had it in stock, it would not be shipping from Brampton or Mississauga or wherever their warehouse is, I can't remember. It would not be shipping from there. It would be shipping from that store. 
because now it's going to get to you as a customer faster, but also it's going to be less shipping costs. And this is why I still say that Shopify is going to be the future because of course, there's going to be small companies that come up and what is the best platform to run on? It's Shopify. So that is why I think that Shopify is going to be the future. We will always have small mom and pop stores, but those are going to be disappearing. It's going to be 100% Shopify, and you may, may have a storefront as well, but it's going to be a lot on Shopify. And of course, this is also telling us some of the more futuristic things that are going to happen. And that is how can you, you get your storefront online? And that's not just getting a website because it gets buried with the 6 trillion other websites that are out there. You need to have a YouTube channel. You need to have an Instagram channel. You need to have a Facebook. You need to have all of this. You also need to start live streaming. You also need to start making content creation. You need to have all of these assets to your advantage because it's not just having the ability to get in front of people's eyes, but you can also use these tools as the ability to make more money. You can monetize your YouTube channel once you get over a thousand subscribers. So that's another route that you can take as an investor is to invest in Google because they own YouTube. But if you are looking into the future, Shopify is the future in my opinion. They do not currently pay a dividend. They're still growing as a company. I would assume that probably within five to 10 years, they'll start paying a dividend because they are making a killing into the future. Now, if you look at their financials, this is just backing up my point even more, okay? So they've made a massive revenue stream and that revenue stream grows every single year. Of course, we did see this spike in 2020, but I really doubt that spike is going to go away. I really doubt that it's going to go back down because of course, every single company is still looking to stay online. It's not going to be a one day fad where you have a company that goes online because there's a coronavirus and then they say, well, cancel that, we're open again. We need to have our storefront open, we don't need a website anymore. No, because now they are noticing, hey, there is massive growth, math, massive chances of making money online. And why not supplement your in-store income with online income as well. They finally made an earnings profitability, which is fantastic as well. Because let's face it, stores are not going to say, well, we're open again. We don't need to spend this extra money to have an online uh, resource to make money. We don't need that anymore. We can just focus on in-store traffic again. No, because let's face it, because as business owners ourselves, you may not be, but I am, as business owners ourselves, we can no longer guarantee that our stores are going to be open. We are now being forced to close, whether you agree with it or not, I don't care, but we are being forced to close. The government now has the ability and the power to say you can no longer be open if something happens. So because of that, we need to get online because online will always be open. Online will be open 24 seven and we cannot be shut down by the government, technically speaking, unless we turn into China where they say there's no YouTube or Google. Anyways, these are my thoughts. I think Shopify is a fantastic future business to invest in. I think they're going to be having massive growth over the next couple of years. There really is no other platform that rivals what they're doing right now. Anyways, I hope that you've enjoyed. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time.